All right, everyone. Uh, this will be a quick video. Uh, we're going to cover how to make sprites. Sprites are the little characters. Um, how to make a map with walls. We're going to do a simple kind of platformer like Mario, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, we're going to talk about velocity and acceleration and exactly what that means. Uh, how to make map effects like clouds. How to make a character, um, the camera follow your character as you walk around. And how to make a character jump and have gravity. Okay. So let's take a look at the code builder here. Uh, that's the wrong one. All right. OK, so I'm going to get rid of all this. This is our old code here, actually. So let me just show what we're going to build here if I make this game larger. We're going to have the character move around. We're going to add gravity and have them jump. And we're going to have them only jump when they are touching um, something below them. Right, so we're going to build a simple kind of platformer game like this. We'll also talk about this blizzard effect that's going on here and uh, those type of things. Okay. All right, so there's a sample of my game. And let me go back to the builder here. I'm going to get rid of all these things. If you want to uh, take a screenshot, you could. Um, but let's talk about how we started this from the very beginning. Okay, so we're going to create a sprite, and then we're going to create a map. So sprites, set my sprite. Put it right there. We're going to create a stripe, uh, sprite. Sprites are characters. Um, let's do our character here. Let's make them kind of taller. All right. I am the world's best artist, so get ready for an amazing character. Um, I might be the best pixel art person in the world. Now you guys can tell the sarcasm in my eye and my my words here. A uh, little red person. Uh, let's have another blue body. Right. This is a make-believe game. Kind of looks like a little blue, but I think about it. All right. And let's give them half a purple shirt. And then let's give them uh, yellow pants. Because yellow pants are pretty neat, though. All right. There's my character. Pretty terrible, but that will work. Um, let's give them, can we make them smile? No, we won't. All right. So push done. All right, there's my little character. It's going to render here on the left side. Render means to create. Um, so this UI, this user interface, is what you're looking at here, UI. So over here on the left is the um, simulator. This is where the stuff will happen when you make it. In the middle here is where the blocks are. So you can create your different um, different tools, different games. And over here is the workspace where you're going to drag and drop your different blocks. OK, so now we're going to make this character move. So we'll go to controller. And we're going to have this sprite move with the buttons. Snap it together like a puzzle piece. And now my character can move around with the buttons, right? But in a Mario type platformer, he can't go up and down. He can only go left or right. So we're going to click this plus sign here. And you see we have X and we have Y. We have X and Y. So X is this direction, left and right, right? Just like we're graphing. And Y is up and down, OK? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the Y because we don't want him to be able to jump. Then, uh, so I go back and forth here. So there he is going back and forth, back and forth. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to add a background image and a tile map. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to get a tile map. And we're going to get a background image, background uh, color. Okay. So when people talk about their background, that's not the actual playing surface. That's just like what happens in the way far back. The tile map, that's the actual place where the level happens. Okay. So I'm going to set, I'm making a Mario game. I'm going to make this blue. And our tile map, I'm going to set that to um, this image here. Once I click on this, this is a, <laughs> uh, this is a, uh, a tile map, I have to, um, uh, I'm going to draw the map here. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the, the ground here. And let's do this here. Let's do, I like this one. So let's be in the bottom. And then I'm going to add ground on top. Okay. I can also make this longer. So let's make this, uh, let's make this 50. And push enter. So now I have a nice long map. You can see it there. I'm going to use this hand to drag it over and see the whole thing. Okay. You can also close this and then reopen it so it recenters. So there it is, nice recentered. Um, 
So you can change the numbers here. So this is width, and this is height. You want to make a longer, a longer level. So I'm going to drag this out and draw just the ground all the way over, and then add this block underneath. Okay, making our ground here. Um, I'm also going to add holes that they can fall into. All right, and I'm going to add um, kind of platforms they can jump on. Okay, so here's some platforms like Mario they can jump on later. Maybe I'll put the flag up here. All right, so now we have our tile map, but this is just, just, just an image. We have to create walls for them to jump on and jump with. So this red wall icon here, uh, you draw over it. That means that your sprites, sprites cannot go into this. So it kind of makes a wall there. Um, to do this quickly, you click on this little paint can here, and you click on this. Um, try this again here. Doesn't seem to be working that way. So when you click on the paint can, you click on the wall. It should do all of it, but it's not working right now. So I'm just going to do this. You might have better luck when you're working on yours. Um, click on the paint can and then click on the wall icon, and it will autofill everything that's the same. Let me see if I can get it to do it again. Yep, there it goes. I guess you just got to click off and on it. See, I'm clicking on it, so it's highlighting the whole thing. All right, so now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to close this. So now I have my tile map and I have my character kind of floating in space here. Right, so I go left and right. Oh, the camera's not following me. I got the camera following. Click on scene, scroll down, color follow, camera, follow my sprite. And then now the camera is going to follow the sprite. All right, go left and right here. There is my thing, but look, you can notice that I can't go up and down and I have no gravity, so we have to add some gravity. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to sprites and we're going to add some gravity to our sprites. We're going to change, no, we're going to set. Big word is set. We're going to set their velocity or set their acceleration. Um, ignore that. Uh, we're going to set their acceleration. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to go to set their acceleration of y okay acceleration is their change in velocity their change in velocity so velocity is speed and then change in velocity is acceleration so when you're driving a car and you get pushed back in your seat that force you feel is called acceleration right but once you're at a, a constant velocity right once you're at 50 miles an hour you don't feel that push anymore so this is a as a as an active you know constant force okay so what we're going to do is um, we're going to uh, make this an active active force here. So we're going to change this number to 150. Okay. Now my character will fall down on the ground. And there it goes left and right. Left and right falls down on the ground. Okay. But now he can't jump. Or he or she, whatever this thing is, cannot jump. Right, so now we need to have the character get a command where they can jump. So on a button pressed, okay? We're gonna change their velocity. So we're going to change their velocity. We're going to change their uh, velocity, y. And we're gonna change it by a negative number. So I thought we'd talk about this really quick. Um, when we're graphing, usually we graph like this, right? We have our normal bar graph, okay? Here is x, oops, I'm sorry, here is x, and here is y, right? Ignore that. So here's our y-axis, here's our x-axis. As we go this way, numbers get bigger, right? As we go that way, numbers get smaller, right? Neg uh, negative numbers. As we go up higher, numbers get larger. As we go lower, numbers get smaller, okay? However, in programming, and when we're designing on a computer, right? So usually the origin, 0, 0 is right here, right? This is 0, comma, 0. Our origin is here, 0, comma, 0, okay? This is still the x-axis. This is still the y-axis. But it's kind of turned um, uh, you know, 90 degrees here. So as we go this way, numbers are larger. As we go down, numbers are larger. Okay, so if you ever want to go up, you need a negative y value. 
So I said that to explain this, we're going to change sprite velocity by a negative number. Let's make that negative 100 and let's see what happens. So our character floats down, presses A, and look that they can jump. Okay. But if you notice something, if I push A a couple times, I keep pushing it, I keep changing my velocity. I can fly like a bird. Okay. That might be useful if you have a bird type game, but this character is not designed to be a bird, so that doesn't make sense for my game. So I need to change that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some logic. If true, I'm going to put this right here. So I want something to be true. If something is true, then you're going to change the velocity when you push this button. Okay. And the thing I want to be true is if he's touching a wall below him, if he has something below him, I want him to be able to jump. If he has nothing below him, I don't want him to be jump to be able to jump. So I click on C, scroll down here. If is my sprite touching a wall? If my sprite is hitting a wall on the bottom, change their velocity. Okay? If they're not, else do nothing. And you can open this up and do else. But if you just close it, else is already assumed, do nothing else. So now when I fall and I jump, see I can only jump if I'm touching a wall on the bottom there. Right? I can only jump. And if you notice, I can't jump very high. So let me add a little more velocity to my jump. Let's make it um, let's make it equal with our acceleration. Let's see what happens. So now when I jump, yeah, that's a pretty big jump. Pretty big jump. And you can change these numbers to fit your game. Right? If you make this really large, you'll kind of have like a super jump here. Let's make it 300. Right, the more separated these numbers get, the larger it gets. Oop, ooh, there's my super jump. I almost jumped off the map there. Super jump. Right, but it keeps coming down because the acceleration is constant. It's constantly trying to change this velocity because I set it at that. All right, so that is the very beginning of how to make a simple platformer with walls. Okay? Um, next time, we're going to talk about how to add enemies, how to add things that hurt you, how to add spawn points, and how to... Um, end the level. Thanks guys.